But there is a problem here. You have to check your stability. And you're going to see that, yeah, this is a big problem. So if I check my uh, VGG here, my stability is very bad. So uh, here is there's the, here's a point I have to mention. There are some, uh, actually, uh, uh, there are some methods uh, we also did in previous section. You can check the, uh, the stability circles in order to have uh, conditional stability. But my advice is generally I, pr I prefer to have um, unconditionally stable amplifier. This is very important. It's your choice because if you want to design with stability circles, it's going to get uh, really complicated. Imagine that you want to sweep the circle. So this is a method I suggest to you, but based on the things you learned from previous course, you can try yourself. But I would suggest, I strongly would suggest that try to have an unconditional stability. So this is going to assure you, you can uh, put anything you want at your input and output as your ZS and ZL. If you remember from previous course, we, we are trying to have an unconditional stability. It means that our goal is to have a mu factor more than one. So this design is very bad. This is completely unstable. And the reason is here because if you check your gate, there is no resistance. There is no, uh, probably the real part of S11, sorry, the real part of input impedance is negative value. Uh, so that's one of the problems. We can actually check our Z in to see what kind of thing we have uh, at the Z in. So uh, let's go to the simulation as parameters. And you can check your input impedance in this situation Z in. So I'm going to do one more simulation. So from here I can check my... I can find my Z in from the list. Let's say real part and also let's say imaginary part. So you see the the problem is that uh, I'm going to put this here. I don't have any real part here. So that's this is the this is the problem. So uh, I'm going to make this VGG. So my real part is basically zero. You check here is it's very low values basically nothing so this is probably this is one of the reasons and the imaginary part is totally negative because i have capacitance here uh, the the gate source and gate drain capacitance so this actually sh shows us some uh, very good information this is one of the regions so uh, one of the methods we actually try to have a, a stable amplifier is to erase this one so i'm going to write here uh, r Cap, caps R. So this is my register here. So this is one of the methods. So uh, actually, uh, explaining this uh, method is a little bit hard. That's why I'm leaving this up to you. This is a very good homework for you. You can read in Poser, and also there's a very good book. Uh, the writer uh, names is Suarez, and you can you can check this book. It's about the the stability. Uh, in a microwave uh, amplifier design like it's a, it's a very good book you can study about uh, how you can make an uh, how you can make a stable amplifier so uh, this can be a homework for you if you really if you're really interested in to know what how this uh, resistor helps having a stable amplifier uh, you can basically read poser book we actually a little bit explained in poser in previous course and also as as i mentioned the, I'm going to show the book uh, now actually yeah. so I found this uh, book for you stability analysis of uh, nonlinear microwave circuits uh, by Almudena Suarez this is a very good book if you want to learn about this techniques you can uh, check this book because it's hard for me to explain all the concepts before uh, behind this and also uh, you can use some techniques we uh, actually Taught in previous uh, course, you can uh, basically write this parameter uh, equation for this structure, which is going to take a long time. So I strongly suggest you to uh, read some uh, books and uh, re uh, check some references for these topics. So in the next uh, section, we are going to explain how we can make the amplifier stable.
Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses, in RF system and IC design with pass status, RASOFT would provide the RASOFT radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.